Soldiers declare they have overthrown Niger's president. Mutinous soldiers have successfully carried out a coup in Niger, detaining President Mohamed Bazoum and declaring their seizure of power. The coup was triggered by the country's deteriorating security situation, causing widespread uncertainty in the capital, Niamey, regarding the control of the nation and the support of its citizens. President Bazoum, who came to power in 2021 through Niger's first peaceful democratic transfer of power since gaining independence from France in 1960, remains defiant even in captivity. He vows that democracy will prevail, receiving backing from various political parties who view him as an essential ally in the West's fight against jihadist groups affiliated with Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State in the Sahel region. While the Army Command's Twitter account tweeted a statement supporting the coup to avoid bloodshed, its authenticity remains unverified. Nonetheless, the international community expresses deep concern over the crisis. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warns of the adverse effects on development and civilians due to unconstitutional changes of government in the Sahel region. In response to the coup, the UN Security Council schedules emergency closed consultations and the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, sends President Patrice Talon of Benin to mediate. The involvement of foreign actors, particularly Russia's Wagner Group, adds complexity to the situation. Niger's large uranium production makes it a strategic target for the Wagner Group, but President Bazoum's pro-French and pro-Western stance has hindered their interests. This coup has significant implications for Niger's relations with Western nations, as the United States and France have invested considerable aid and military support in the country. There are fears that Niger may shift away from the West if the coup stands. Demonstrations in support of Wagner and the uncertain involvement of the group further exacerbate concerns about the country's stability and foreign influence. The international community widely condemns the coup, demanding the release of President Bazoum and the restoration of constitutional order. Designating the events as a coup could lead to the suspension of millions of dollars in military support and aid from the United States. Experts emphasize the potential blow to democratic culture in the Sahel region and the shift towards containment instead of active cooperation in addressing regional challenges. With more than four million people in need of humanitarian assistance and hundreds of thousands displaced, the humanitarian situation exacerbates the crisis. As Niger's fate hangs in the balance, the world watches closely to see how events unfold and whether democracy can endure amidst the struggle for power and influence in the region. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.